Greetings viewers and welcome to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. Our show today features Dr. Bruce Lipton, internationally recognized authority on the connection between science and the spirit. By training, he is an expert in cell biology and is a former medical school professor and research scientist. His research work in the 1980s at the prestigious Stanford University USA showed that the outer layer or membrane of our cells is the equivalent of our brain. By processing information from the outside environment, the cell's brain can affect changes inside the cell. Dr. Lipton is the author of several books including The Biology of Belief, Unleashing the Power of Consciousness, Matter and Miracles. It is the winner of the Best Science Book category of the Best Books 2006 Awards, which uses scientific evidence to demonstrate that our beliefs, no matter what their nature, manifest themselves at the level of the cells in our bodies. Dr. Lipton says that by modifying these beliefs, we have the power to fundamentally change our lives for the better. We spoke with Dr. Lipton about his work. What people in the world uh, have been trained to believe is something called genetic control, which means control by genes. The new science is called epigenetic control, and the, the beginning part, epi, means above. What does epigenetic control mean? And it means control above the genes. And what it says is our belief system that genes control life has now been found to be wrong. That genes are controlled by a response to the environment. And why that's important is because if you change your environment, you change your genetic activity. If you go into a healthy environment, then you will select genes and behaviors that will promote growth and health. But if you go into a very toxic environment, then that environment will result in gene activity that will re result in disease and disruption. So w the important difference, and this is profound, between the new and the old science, the old science, you were a victim because you can't change your genes and you didn't pick them and they controlled your life. The new science says you're a master. It's up to you if you want to change the environment that you live in or that you respond to, then that means you are changing your genetic activity. And it says then you are very powerful because it's up to you to identify an environment that gives you health and get out of an environment that is making you sick. Dr. Lipton explains how cells receive outside information or a signal that causes changes within them. I found out that what makes two people different is that on the surface of the cells there are antennas just like television antennas and each person has a different set of antennas and the point about it is the antennas make each person different, give them their own identity and you might say oh the antennas make the identity and then I say no no antennas receive a signal the identity antennas, the ones that receive a signal, are on the outside of the cell. So they're receiving an identity signal somewhere from the environment. It's like a broadcast. And so each human is like a television set, receiving a different station because of their antennas are different than each other. Each one of us is receiving a broadcast station. And if it's an invisible energy force with identity in it, people have talked about a spirit. Oh, spirit is the invisible stuff that's being picked up by the antennas. The nature of the body is due to the interpretation of the environment, which is the mind. But the mind is connected to the spirit part. So the invisible force is called the mind because there's no physical thing called mind. There's a physical brain, but the mind is the energy around the brain. So this is why mind has been left out of science. Dr. Lipton elaborated on why the mind has been neglected by the scientific field. They say, well, don't bring the mind into the story. So for a few hundred years, Western science has said the mind is not relevant. So they talk about the body as a car, the new science with epigenetics and how our mind interfaces our biology. It says, yes, the body is like a car, but there's also a driver. 
and the driver is the mind and the spirit. And why is it relevant? Because if you had bad driver education, you can get a brand new car and destroy it. And then we would, medicine, we would blame, oh, the body was wrong. And yet the reality is we haven't been taught driver education, that we are responsible for taking care of our own biology and our own life. Please stay tuned as we will soon continue our interview with Dr. Bruce Lipton to learn more about his findings. You're watching Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Science and Spirituality. Dr. Bruce Lipton will now explain more about his discovery on the behaviors of the conscious and subconscious mind and how to advance beyond the harmful or negative patterns we have already recorded in our lives. The subconscious mind runs your, your behavior and your genetics and your biology over 95% of it every day. That means there's two minds, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is the one connected to your spirit. It's the one that's creative. If I ask you, what would you like from your life? What do you want? The answer comes from the conscious mind. That's, the conscious mind has your wishes and your desires, what you want. That comes from the conscious mind. The subconscious mind is a program like a, like a tape player. It learns behavior and then you push a button and then it plays the behavior over and over and over again. The primary programs in the subconscious mind we downloaded by watching other people. So the primary programs in our subconscious mind came from our parents, came from our brothers and our sisters, came from our community, our family, and, and etc. Why is this relevant? Because what you want is in your conscious mind, and the programs of how to respond to life that are in your subconscious mind came from other people. And here's the problem. How come it's so difficult to get what you want when you think you're running your life? The answer is because the new science says you're not running your life. Your subconscious is running your life. And that has beliefs and programs from other people. Dr. Lipton gave the tip of focusing on the present to avoid the subconscious programs that are running and may be interfering in our lives. Talking to yourself and getting mad at yourself doesn't change the tape and that's really important because most people try it that way and it's frustrating. How do you change the tape? There are many different ways of changing the tape. The first way that I learned is called Buddhist mindfulness. And Buddhist mindfulness basically says don't let the tape run pay attention to the present moment and then you're in charge but if your mind wanders that's when the tape runs so if you stay present then you are running the show Dr. Lipton also shared other ways to change the tape such as creating a habit you have to do it as a habit because the subconscious mind learns habits one way of doing it is creating a habit and making sure you do it every day and while at the beginning it seems like oh this is tough after a while, you repeat it so frequently that you actually don't even know you're doing it. Now it's a habit. It's sort of like when you first got in a car to drive a car, it was like, oh, so many things you had to think about. It was so, so much going on in your mind. But now you've driven the car for a long time. You get in the car, you could talk to somebody and not pay attention to what you're doing because now it's a habit. You have behaviors that are not good, then you have to make an exercise habit and watch your habit and make sure it's a habit. We asked Dr. Lipton to summarize his message to the world and his vision for the future. It basically comes down to the fact that while you're on this planet, you're in a creation mode. And you can make this planet the heaven that you like, and yet it becomes your personal responsibility because you have to recognize it's your thoughts that contribute it. And if every one of us starts to recognize that we're each contributing to this whole, and we each collectively recognize that we're powerful, and that we are all connected to this as one giant living thing, then those collective beliefs are going to manifest a world that is totally different than the one that we're experiencing. And it doesn't take a hundred years or a thousand years. These changes in beliefs bring immediate and instant changes in the reality. So that we're approaching a new evolution. Our sincere appreciation, Dr. Bruce Lipton, for sharing your insights and for bridging science and spirituality. Your work with cells and their relation to the body and mind 
has provided us with evidence that our beliefs are indeed powerful and have the ability to create a new future for us. Thank you, Global Viewers, for your company on today's edition. Now, please stay tuned for Words of Wisdom, coming up next, right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May divine light shine brightly on you and your loved ones every joyous moment of your life.